All right, guys, welcome back to the channel, Paladin Piper. Just when you didn't think it could get any hotter, ugh, and bugs. We're gonna try one last burly this summer, and that is Morley's Best from Cornell and Deal. Now, traditionally speaking, Cornell and Deal burlies are kind of hit and miss with me. Some of them I love, some of them I don't. Um, and they do get a little bit better with age. A lot of Cornell and Deal stuff is kind of green and, um, just not that enjoyable right out of the bag. But anyway, this was sample was sent to me from Garrett and Katie at Smoke Snacks. Um, and apparently, I did cheat today. This is supposed to be uh, kind of Cornell and Deal's take on Blue Boar. Now, I never got to smoke Blue Boar. It's an old codger blend. I'm going to try it in the cob tonight and just to see how it treats me. Let's get her lit up here. Give you a little view of the cut there. It's kind of a broken ribbon. And the bugs, man. Shoo wee. Now. I'll put the constituents here. I know I forgot to do that on one of my videos. And they're not too recent past. But I am detecting Latakia in this. Uh, mild in the background. Just enough to give it a little bit of that incense smoky character. But definitely in the barking dog kind of vein. That very earthy, burly, nutty burly I like. Tad musty, a little bit of bitter notes. Slight rough edge, not bad, slight. Um, that's probably that rough edge a lot of my burly files will appreciate. Tad bit of spice there, spice, spice, spice. I think Garrett said this was a sleeper blend for Cornell and Deal. They produce so much stuff. Yeah, not too bad. Um, so just some, like I said, nutty earthy notes. Uh, that Latakia has kind of faded away already now. A little bit of musty and spice. It's nice. All right, we'll go on the journey. Don't go anywhere. All right, guys. Coming down to the final third of Morley's Best by Cornell and Deal. Okay. Let's get it relit. This is definitely a blend that harkens back to yesteryear. Um, a time when certain blends would try to stand out as being different because there were so many blends that were burly dominant in the American uh, pipe smoking scenes. Especially from the 40s to 60s. And arguably before that. watching the geese fly um this is in the vein of barking dog edward g robinson country doctor 
Revelation. Um, it is very similar. Um, however, a toned down version, in my opinion, um, of Big and Burly. It's a no nonsense, no frills, um, straight burly, a little bit of Virginia. Um, you get a little nice spice, kind of mustiness. I mean, a teeny bit of sweetness and just a little bit of that Latakia note at times to let you know that it's something different that stands out. But you can tell that this would have been a blend um, and Blue Boar, I think, was uh, this blend that was trying to differentiate itself from so many Burleys out there as being something different. Um, and I can see this being just that for the codger smoker like me who I smoke Burleys pretty much all year. Um, you know, if I want a little something different, um, just to grab something like this. Um, where this falls... For me and my rotation, um, if I was going to add this to my rotation, and I'll explain why I won't. Here in about another four to six weeks, that's where it would be. That cusp season, starting to get a little crisp in the mornings. A little chill in the air. That's where I like this type of blend. A classic crossover without any Cavendish. Again, just a different take on your traditional American Burley blend of yesteryear. Why won't this be in my rotation? Two main reasons. Mm. Uh, also, Retro is a little spicy. Just kind of that earthy, little bit, little tiny bit of cocoa in the Burley. Um... Why won't this be in my rotation? Two reasons. One is, and again, a lot of guys will like this, and I don't mind it at times, um, but there's other similar profiles that don't do this to me, therefore I'm going to exclude this one. But um, there's a little bit of that, that burly harshness there uh, that an unrefined burly, an unaged burly can give you. It's got that rough edge, just a, just a little bit, just a kind of... I said this before in my, my other burly videos... It's like that girlfriend that bites your tongue when you're kissing her, you know? You're like, you know, but some people like that. So that's one character. I've got too many other smooth burlies that have this similar profile for that. Um, and then two, just that. This is, this is a similar profile to so many other great crossover codger burlies um, that I think... Um, it just lacks the refinement for me. Uh, now, I, you know, I'm not going to throw this away. I'm going to put it in a little bitty mason jar, and I'm going to age it maybe another year or so, and I'll come back to it and see if it smooths out, and it may, and it may be really good then. Um, but I will say this. If you are a person who really hates Latakia or is maybe just trying to dabble in Latakia, and you're like, I don't really know if I, if I want to try that, or I've tried something like a pirate cake or something that's 70% or whatever Latakia, and you're like, that was way too smoky, way too leathery, way too over everything. Th starting in this realm is where you guys want to be. Um, you know, your revelations, your barking dogs, your country doctors, your Morley's Best, your, um, uh, if you like Cornell and Deal products, um, Epiphany uh, is a really good one. And I do enjoy Epiphany. Uh, matter of fact, I kind of think Epiphany is a little bit better than Sutless Re Revelation Match. Um, but those are that vein um, of... A take on the old codger blends that just wanted to be different because so many people were smoking Prince Albert's Velvets half and half in Sir Walter Raleigh. Um, you know, and then like I said, later when Captain Black came on the scene, everything kind of changed. But um, old school Burleys, this would have been definitely a, a difference for that. So for that, I give it a B, um, but it won't probably make my rotation. All right. I'm going to finish the rest of it. Not much left. Um, and uh, 
we'll see you again very soon on another Paladin Piper video. Take care, guys.